Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm back in the Acura TSX and uh, I'm making a quick little video. I'll be showing you how to replace your uh, cabin air filter. So in the, in the Acura TSX, your cabin air filter is located uh, behind your glove box, I should say, because it's not inside, it's behind it. So uh, first of all, make sure you empty it out because uh, when you'll be detaching it, it'll fall down. So you don't want all your stuff to fall to the ground, you know? So make sure it's all empty. And here's what you're gonna have to do. First thing you should do when you open your glove box is it'll be easier if you open your door. There's a little, uh, this part, the, it's like the damper that, uh, it, that's what that's the part that opens your glove box slowly it doesn't just slam it so if yours doesn't have it or it's just hanging it's broken you got to replace that maybe I'll make a video sometime on how to replace that part uh, mine was broken before I, I replaced it a while ago actually a couple years ago so uh, you got to be careful when you detach it it's like it's like a little hook in there so you gotta like push it away from you push it towards the front of the car carefully really carefully don't want to break the hook and just push this away so it's out of the way and that's how it looks like if yours if your hook is broken then you're gonna have to replace your uh, your, your whole dampener so just be careful when you when you uh, detach it and then when you attach it be careful too so once you do that could close the door there's gonna be two of these little things right here let's see if you could see that right there these and on the other side sorry it's so bright there we go right there so what you want to do is stick your finger from the other side let me open the door in there and pretty much just push it out like that and then you're gonna have to lift the glove box in a little bit so you can take this out and there you go it looks like that and there's the hole so actually toss that in your cup holder or something and do the same thing to the other side where is it right there push from the inside there we go now you gotta push your glove box in a little bit let me try to do this with one hand there you go okay so now your glove box pretty much falls down you could well, it won't actually fall down all the way because it'll be hold, it'll be holding on to something. There's some wires. Don't worry about those. But your uh, your cabin air filter is located right there. There's gonna be two clips on each side. One right there. One right there. So you just pretty much if you you lift it. You should do it with both hands actually. All right, I think I got it. You could do it with one hand, I guess. And you slide the whole tray out. And there you go. So this cabin air filter, it's not one of the pure white ones. This is, uh, it's some kind of better one, I guess, for like fresher air or some crap like that. But if you look in here, I don't know if, how hard is it to see, but you could see there's a there's some leaves in here and a bunch of dirt. But yeah, you're gonna put in the the filter in the way on here it says airflow and it points down. Same thing with the air filter. It says airflow and points down. 
You want to do the same thing. So let me grab the, grab the new air filter. So here's the new one. Let me take it out of the packaging. This was actually the STP cabin air filter. And here's the, the part number that you need for the, the Acura TSX. CAF7781. Just so you know. All right. So you, you take it out. Uh, one of these sides, it's gonna say airflow. There you go, it says airflow. So we just pretty much toss it in, pointing down. fits right in without any issue all right so let's slide it back in over there watch out for these cables get them out of the way and just push it until it clicks in there you go it's in secure you're all good now what I like to do I like to put the damper back in first. So let me try to show it to you guys again. So pull it down. And just be careful. Snap back in really carefully so you don't break the hook okay it's in so glove box stays and then for these little things you're gonna need to push the glove box up again okay so sunny it's you can't see anything all right so all right you push it in with your finger and then just push this part and it'll slide back in i'll show you on the other side again it in and then just there we go everything's secure you can close it test it all right and you're all done so there you go guys really simple really easy do it yourself don't have the dealer do it if unless you want to but uh, you'll save yourself some money. So please give me a thumbs up, like the video, showing that uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I taught you something because that's what I'm trying to do here. And also please, please subscribe. You're helping me out. It uh, shows me that you like my videos. I'll continue doing this. So uh, yeah, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this, anything, maybe something I didn't mention, leave them in the comment below or comment section below and I'll get back to you. So uh, thanks for watching again and peace out guys.